2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Well, for the Jazz, an ugly showing for them to start the series as they were beaten handily. Still, it's just one game, and they look to return to form here in Game 2. Well, you talk about playing with pressure early in a series after dropping Game 1. Shaq, how badly does this team need to win tonight? If they lose, I can see the fans leaving with paper bags over their heads in embarrassment. That said, I think they right the ship and get the win. Well, check this out. I was on a team. Bless the team. We were going 0-2 at home. We Ooh, played two tough. games at home, went 0-2, and won the series. But the odds are stacked against you, but you got to have supreme confidence in yourself to do that. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Shaq. Wonderful answers. And I mean that. The beautiful, dramatic setting here in Salt Lake City, Utah becomes apparent when you get a look at the aerial shot of the surroundings. We are just about ready to get underway here in Game 2 of the first round of the Western Conference Playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. And Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. He is doing a great job. Thank you, DA. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Gilgis Alexander out there with Paul, and it's Robertson in at the three slot. And for Utah, Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Bogdanovich out there with Gobert, and it's Ingles in at the three. And so off the tip, it's Utah. And here is Conley. Pass to Mitchell. They get a hand on it. Hilgis Alexander with the steal. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And that's just showing off right there. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Oklahoma City shooting their first free throw tonight. Conley. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. One thing we know, Greg, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. And it's in there. What area of the floor can't Donovan Mitchell score from? This guy, terrific job on the interior. Hilgis Alexander surveying the deep. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Adams against Gobert. Shot clock at six. Adams down low. Gobert with the block. An intimidating force who continues to wipe away shots with ease. Go to work, Rudy Gobert. Mitchell outside. Plays it up and banks it in. 
And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Paul following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Bill just Alexander with it. High arcing shot. Rebound by Mitchell. For Utah, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Conley up top, defended by Paul. Conley the pass to Gobert. Ingles kicks to Mitchell. Here's Gobert. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. That one doesn't go. The shot's good from Robertson. How about the long strides on his way to the cup? Andre Robertson sees the lane and takes it. Conley against Paul. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. Passes to Bogdanovich. Drops in the tray. Uh, Boyan Bogdanovich, a very confident basketball player. He knows very well he has the green light to take these shots. Now here's Paul. Now here's Georges Alexander. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oklahoma City shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. misses he hits the second from the line here's Conley The pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. Tipped away. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Over in the corner, Paul. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Over Mitchell. Drops it in from 11 feet. Gilgis Alexander's got six. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Bogdanovich, no luck. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Mitchell gets to Conley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Chris Paul picks up that one. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. Utah shooting their first free throws of the night. The first one falls. And Conley drops them both. The Thunder with the lead. And here is Gilgis Alexander. He's got eight. Oh. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Good from Gilgis Alexander. At least checked in for the Jazz. He's off on the second. Angel Conley will bring the ball up for the Jazz. Trailing by two, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. It's crazy to think that 12 teams passed on Donovan Mitchell. He has become a premier scorer in the NBA. Oh, would they love a do-over. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And Mitchell drops in both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Shot from 16, and it's Bradley with the rebound. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Ball looking over the floor. And it's blocked by Bradley. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Bradley. Paul outside. Did you guys just see that? Listen, I'm Donovich can guard. Pass to Brent. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. Mitchell outside. No good on that one. So the Thunder will take it the other way. And there's the feed to Robertson. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Now, here's Mitchell. Six points for him. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Utah. Moutier comes in for Michael Conley. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Oklahoma City. Now, Gilgis Alexander. He's got nine. Malinari outside. He kicks it to Schroeder. Gilgis Alexander with it. Malinari outside. Six to shoot. Adams in the high post. And it's blocked by Bradley. Feeds it to Bogdanovich. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Moutier kicks to Clarkson. Pass to Mitchell. Over Robertson. And it's Mitchell missing. Here's Oklahoma City now. 
Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Nice. Four for seven from the floor with that shot. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jams. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. For the Jams, Davis comes in for Bogdanovich, and it's George Niang in for Mitchell. And then for Oklahoma City, Noel's checked in for Adams. Muscala comes in for Gallinari, and Terrence Ferguson subbed in for Robertson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. For Utah, they have looked good at the line today. They're perfect in four attempts. throw good Clarkson the one thing with Clarkson sometimes he can get a little out of control and he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack that one falls so he hits both of them And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Moutier against Schroeder. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. This guy not just a jump shooter now. Dennis Schroeder more than happy to get inside and mix it up. Clarkson dishes to Bradley. Moutier passes to Clarkson. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Well, Jordan Clarkson specializes at capitalizing on what the defense gives him. Nicely done in the mid-range. Here's Gilgis Alexander. There's Noel. Bradley with some nice D. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's Niang. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the middle. Here's Clarkson. The second effort. And it's good on the way in. And the Jazz lead by two. How about Jordan Clarkson? The ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. And Noel gets it over to Schroeder. A three-pointer is right on target. Schroeder's got five now just focusing on the task at hand that's all you can do boy the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction i've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight and the rejection by noel all going up court and he gets it to go great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish going right to the rim which is where you want transition opportunities to end Here's Nian. Here's Moutier. And the rejection by Noel. This is a staple of his game. Nerland's Noel sends it back. Schroeder surveying the floor. He logs up the alley pass, and Noel throws it down. Oh, Kev, love the connection Noel has built with his teammates. Smart at knowing when to time that alley-oop. 
Bradley with the ball. Now guarded by Schroeder. Clarkson. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. The Thunder leading by five. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific. And they've kept the defense off balance. Now here's Schroeder. He's got five. Pocket six. And there's the pass to the scout. And the three off target. Jazz shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Moutier dishes to Davis. Now here's Moutier. He'll just Alexander cover. Moutier, no good. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Nobody near Schroeder misses the three. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Clarkson finds Moutier. Count it from 12. Well, to me, there's no question. It's critical that Emmanuel Moutier make this shot more consistently. Showing some signs of progress in the mid-range, guys. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 11. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. And the call will be against Emmanuel Moutier. That is his first foul of the game. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Thunder. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Pass to Schroeder. Elbow shot, and Davis sends it back. Moutier looking around. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first. Here's Bradley. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. Utah shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Tied up with that one. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. There's the dish to Paul. From deep. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Utah out in front. They lead by one. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Chris Paul, an elite defensive player, uh, a student of the game for sure, talks about his knack for making a lot of steals, forcing turnovers. Uh, the steals thing is just something that I've always had a knack for doing, and just, uh, I think it's because I watch so much basketball. 
Well, you hear about the importance of watching film, Greg. It reveals itself in many ways. And learning guys' habits. What they like to do gives them a knack for when to go after steals without hurting his team. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And guys, from what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Jazz, we've got Bradley, Emmanuel Moutier out there with Clarkson. And it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Niang in at the three, the small forward. Now, here's Clarkson. And that one's on target from the wing. Clarkson's got eight. Well, pick your poison. Jordan Clarkson is proficient in the pick and roll game. And he's basically saying, what do you want to give me? I'm going to take advantage. Now, here is Muscala. Tight defense on him. Pass to Ferguson. Five on the clock. Let's it go from 14. He's off on that one. The Jazz go the other way with it. Clarkson on the wing. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. That one drops for him. And now a three-point Jazz lead. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. There's Noel. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Well, six foot eleven Nerlens Noel so efficient down deep, working his magic thanks to that great size. Moutier against Paul. Again, the Jazz score. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Pulls up on the wing, and he gets the jumper to drop. Paul's got his first bucket in this one. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. This is it to Brandon. Schroeder against Clarkson. Here's Bradley. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Bradley's got the lead up to three now for the Jams. Thunder have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Paul finds Noel. Schroeder against Clarkson. Noel passes to Schroeder. A floater. Gobert with the block. He blocks it again. And now Utah, fast break. Here's Clarkson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And that one's good, Schroeder. Well, this is why spacing is so important. When you can knock down distance shots, as Dennis Schroeder does there, it changes the equation. And the Jazz call time here. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Bradley. Joe Ingles comes in for George Niang. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. And it's Mike Conley in for Emmanuel Moutier. And then for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Noel. Alinari comes in for Mike Muscala. And it's Andre Robertson in for Ferguson. Inside. That's good from Gallinari on the assist by Schroeder. And the Thunder lead by two. 
How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. From past the arc. Good on the triple. Mitchell's got nine. How about a nice bounce to his step from Donovan Mitchell getting the catch and shoot game, sir? And Adams kicks to Gallinari. Back to Adams. Gallinari on the wing. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. Oklahoma City shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Onari hits them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Mitchell against Schroeder. Poke loose. Gobert the pass to Conley. Shot clock at five. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. From the Bengals. It's hauled in by Adams. Absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bobbled that shot. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. Down low. Gobert. That one no good. Adams, some nice D. Thunder have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Ball outside. Launches it. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Well, this is a night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Releases. The Jazz with another miss. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Schroeder. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Schroeder's got seven points here in this quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. The drive by Mitchell. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. You can see the kind of confidence Donovan Mitchell has in that handle. His ability to navigate off the dribble drive. Nice. Now here's Paul. There's the triple. Utah with the rebound. Bogdanovich has got four rebounds now tonight. Kicks to Conley. Dishes to Gobert. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. On the wing, Mitchell. Adams defending. Second chance shot. And Gobert with the basket. On the assist by Mitchell. Gobert's got his first bucket of the night. Conley against Paul. Over Conley. Adams trying to free himself up. The shot's good from Paul. And the Thunder lead by one. Yeah, what you like about Paul in the pick and roll, not just excellent timing with the pass, but the placement. It's always where it needs to be for the finish. Now here's Gobert. Knocked away. It's stolen by Adams. They double him with Mitchell. Shooter passes to Robertson. His three-pointer is off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. 
It's deflected. It's stolen by Adams. The pass to going up. Over Ingle. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Now it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. Conley scanning the floor. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Mitchell against Schroeder. Just five to shoot. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. Over Paul. Another miss by Utah. The Thunder leading by three. Puts it up from 12. And that one hits back iron. Outside Conley. He dishes it to Mitchell. Paul with the steal. Here's Robertson. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Robertson's got the lead up to five now for the Thunder. Up top, Gobert. He kicks to Conley. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. And he finished it off with a lay-in. Paul's got six. And with the pace of today's game, transition defense is at a premium. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Now, here's Mitchell. 11 points in the game. And they get it. Connects. The jumper drops. Mitchell's got seven points for the quarter. And it's Paul with the ball for Oklahoma City. It's a five-point game. Adams outside. Gobert with the block. Schroeder against Bogdanovich. Shoots over Schroeder. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket of the night. Oklahoma City leading by three. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. For viewers, timeouts, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. So Utah ends up going with the new group. Then for the Thunder, Noel's checked in for Andre Robertson. Terrence Ferguson comes in for Dennis Schroeder. And Shea Gilgis-Alexander subbed in for Paul. Now here's Adams. No points in the game yet for him. Noel passes to Gilgis-Alexander. He feeds it to Adams. Bradley with some nice D and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Now, here's Moutier. Six points for him. And here's Clarkson. Five to shoot. Clarkson on the wing. Fires it up. Davis controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets are always the result of that extra effort. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander, defended by Moutier. It's off his foot, and the ref's whistling a kickball. Mike Muscala is checked in for Steven Adams. Alinari outside. Six on the shot clock. 
And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Clarkson on the wing. And the foul called on Nerlens Noel. That'll be his second foul of the game. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. Fifty-two seconds left here in the second. Moutier kicks to Bradley. Lock at six. A shot. Well, this is a tremendously long defender who's got incredible timing. Noel understanding how to contest shots. You talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now, here is going up. He's got six. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Who scout the pass to Ferguson? Knocks it loose. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert to traffic. Here's Clarkson. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Jazz lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with head coach Billy Donovan. Coach, it's been back and forth in the first half. What's it going to come down to? Well, obviously it's close. We know we're playing against a great team, so we just got to keep grinding and keep playing. Let's see how it turns out, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Jazz, they've battled hard, not letting their loss in Game 1 affect their performance tonight. But the second half is going to tell the tale of whether they go into Game 3 desperate for a win or with momentum on their side and a 1-1 series tie. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Jazz? Well, their success was largely about second-chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. I think it was their passing that's kept them in the game. You can see it in their assist numbers. They were very, very unselfish. The ball moving from side to side. Guys making good cuts. It's enabled them to create a lot of chances. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Yeah, and with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Taking a look at the Thunder, Robertson and Gallinari at the small and power forward position. Gilgis Alexander out there with Paul, and it's Adams in at the five spot. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Now, here's Mitchell, following the shot by Chris Paul, and Adams sends it back. Well, this guy is such a defensive stalwart. Steven Adams, size and timing. Send it back, Steven. Aganovich, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Here's Conley following the basket by Chris Paul. Tries from the block. Bogdanovich, no luck. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Count the basket. And it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. Terrific play call to give him a clean look 
at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Jazz have been a perfect 8-of-8 eight eight at the line. throw good Conley and team wide they've been terrific from the line here just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next and Conley drops them both here in this third quarter just over a minute play Mulligan's Mitchell. Call passes to Adams. And Adams with the slam. The vision, the timelessness of Chris Paul's game for many years. He's made everyone around him better. Conley finds Bogdanovich. It's deflected. Now, Gilgis Alexander. 11 points in the game. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Gobert. On the win, Mitchell. He'll just Alexander cover. After an ugly 0 for 4 to start the half, they get one to fall. The Jazz haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. And Mitchell, no good on that one. The Thunder have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out. Hilgis Alexander kicks to Paul. Over Mitchell. And it's Paul missing. Jazz have gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Gobert finds Engle. The hustle, the energy. Andre Robertson gives it to you on the defensive end every single night. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist from Gallinari. 12 points for Chris Paul. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. Pass to Conley. For the tie... Gets the three-pointer to fall. Conley's got the game tied up here for Utah. Well, to me, this is what great point guards do. Donovan Mitchell demonstrating just how skilled he is at connecting with open teammates. Now, here's Adams. Here's the dish to Paul. Over Mitchell. Up again. And it's Adams on the follow. And the Thunder lead by two. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. For the lead. And it's Michael Conley with a three. Conley's got 10 points. It's Conley's ability to hit the long ball that makes him such an asset. Stretches the floor and creates space. Now, here's going up. He has six. Now, here's Robertson. Defense is right there. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Michael Conley. And now Utah, fast break. Mitchell wide open. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. The shot's good from Robertson. Well, that's the kind of dirty work Andre Robertson loves to do. This guy battles for points on the interior. He's a good cutter, and man, we know he can guard. Now here's Conley. 
He's got 10. Utah calls timeout. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. Here's Gobert. Mitchell finds Conley. High post, Gobert. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shoots over Adams. Bogdanovich, no luck. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And that one's good. Schroeder. If you give Dennis Schroeder space, he is going to get into his mid-range game. Knocks down that one. Schroeder against Conley. At the elbow, it's Gobert. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And Bogdanovich gets to Conley. From the baseline. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Conley's got 12 in the game. Well, how about the corner workers from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man catch? Hilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Utah trailing here. Mitchell with it, now guarded by Schroeder. Well, we know Donovan Mitchell is explosive athletically. Put it on the deck. Go ahead, sir. He's shooting free throws, number four and five here. And the first one drops. And Mitchell drops them both. And the Thunder with the possession here. Schroeder with the ball. 14 points for him. The feed to Adams. Bill just Alexander passes to Schroeder. Just five on the clock. Stolen by Mitchell. One on one here. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Gilgis Alexander's got lead on number five here tonight. To the paint. There's Schroeder. Molinari finds Schroeder. That's tipped. Here's Mitchell. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. Mitchell's got the lead up to three now for Utah. There is a level of physicality in the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish through contact. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Jazz. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And the pass to Ingles. Jazz passing it around. Bogdanovich left side. That one good for two. Bogdanovich has got seven points. I don't think 
there's much more you can do. Bogdanovich is too skilled and too strong on these finishes with contact. To the left wing. Schroeder against Conley. Floats one. Rebound, Utah. Gobert has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Davis has checked in for Rudy Gobert. George Niang comes in for Bogdanovich. Clarkson, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. And Emmanuel Moutier is subbed in for Mike Conley. And then for Oklahoma City. Erlens Noel checks in for Steven Adams. Mike Muscala comes in for Gallinari. And Terrence Ferguson subbed in for Robertson. Under trailing by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. The Jazz making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Here's Noel. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Muscala. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got four assists now tonight. Jazz leading by six. And here's Clarkson. He's got eight. Outside Bradley. Kicks to Moody. Shoots over Schroeder. Here's Bradley. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Robertson, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Paul comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. The first free throw is good. And so Bradley nails both of them. Thunder trailing by eight. Paul outside. Aston Muscala. Robertson kicks to Paul. Five on the clock from 15 feet away. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. And the Thunder with the possession here. Trailing here by eight. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time.
Ball against Moutier. Passes it to Bradley. Here's Niang. Back to Bradley. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Three pointer. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. Paul. And it's good. Two points. Paul's got eight points in the quarter. And oozing with confidence right now. Paul makes plays off the bounce that others can't. Moutier dishes to Brandon. He kicks it to Clarkson. And stormed by Robertson. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. And the dunk by Robertson. Running the floor out in the open space. Andre Robertson knowing where to get to. And so it's Moody with it. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They lead by four. There's the pass to Clarkson. Right side Davis. Back to Clarkson. Takes the three. The shot, no good. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. To the inside. And slam dunk by Noel. And that's an example of his athleticism, right? Nerland's Noel, the ability to leap up and ram it home. Clarkson finds Davis. Over Muscala. They get the rebound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. Throw good, Clarkson. And both free throws good for Clarkson. So it's the Thunder now. Paul passes to Noel. Schroeder against Moutier. Now Noel. He's got six. Here's Schroeder. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Here's Moutier. Clarkson passes to Brandt. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, when Emmanuel Moutier has got deep post position, boy, he is going to attack and earn the trip to the stripe. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for the Jazz. Oh, free throws good for Moutier. A minute 20 left to play here in the third. Under trailing by four. Paul with the ball. 14 points for him. Pass to Noel. Schroeder against Mitchell. And it's Schroeder missing. 
tackle and smother them on that mid-range attempt. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just terrific job defensively. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Offline from the high post. Mitchell looking it over. Outside Brent. Down to five on the shot clock. Kicks it to Clarkson. From deep three-point range. On the rebound goes to the Thunder. They can close out the quarter if they want to. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Paul for three. Drills it from outside. Paul's got 17 now. And, and Paul has a beautiful stroke from deep. A, a gifted shooter who drains perimeter shots with consistency. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Utah Jams. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Now let's hear what head coach Billy Donovan was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Hold your ground. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold your ground. The other thing, too, is once he picks the ball up, he's not going to shoot it. If he does, just stay down on him. I like the way the Donovan's conveying that scouting report to his guy. I mean, knowing how your opponent plays is important, and I think he's on point on this one. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Uh, Donovich out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Bradley. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's Moutier in at the point guard. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Here's Robertson. Pass to Muscala to tie it up. Gobert pulls it in. And Bogdanovich kicks to Moody. With the floater and the rejection by Noel. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Thunder. Passes it to Robertson. And here is Muscala over Mitchell. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down now to just three in the basket for Muscala. A, a crucial breakdown defensively, and he was quick to make him pay. We call that execution, Greg. Getting the ball to the right guy where he can do some damage. Here's Moutier. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And even three-on-three -three break. Plays it in off a pretty alley-oop. Boy, we think of Dennis Schroeder as a natural-born scorer, but there he does a great job passing the basketball. Moutier dishes to Mitchell. And the rejection by Noel. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. To take the lead. Doesn't go that time. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Bogdanovich passes to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Schroeder. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Schroeder leading the charge. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. Michael Conley, he's checked in for Emmanuel Moutier. Then for the Thunder, Adams, he's checked in for Muscala. And it's Gallinari in for Dennis Schroeder. Noel finds Adams. Gallinari outside. Six to shoot. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And they take the lead. Paul's got 20. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Conley dishes to Gobert. Clarkson passes to Conley. Oh, 
And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Chris Paul picks up that That free throw missing. Joe Ingles, who's checked in for the Jazz. And he sinks the second. The Thunder have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth timeout, quarter. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He knows this has been a hard-fought game, and he wanted his guys to just sit down and catch their breath. He said, look, we're right in the game, guys. Let's make a little push here. Let's come out with some bite. Kevin? Shot clock at six. Yep, that one goes in there. Eight points for Galen Art. They continue to battle out there so close to taking the lead. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Conley against Paul. Here's the lob to the hoop. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Now here's Conley. Down low. And slam dunk by Gobert. Oh, that is just too easy. As Gobert gets this close, forget about it. Gallinari in the corner. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Jazz trail by five. And here is Conley. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Nailed from three-point land. Bogdanovich has got five points in the quarter. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Now, here's Robertson. Covered by Mitchell. Robertson, the pass to Paul. Out to Gallinari. Over Engel. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert is... Now, Ingles. On the pass to Mitchell. To tie it up. Thunder with the rebound. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Robertson, the pass to Noel. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Here's Bogdanovich. Gobert trying to get open. Yep, it goes, and the Oklahoma City lead has cut down to two points now on the basket from Bogdanovich. 
Hall passes to Adams. Don Ari again single. Watch it fly. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Mitchell is double to the middle. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. Gobert has a thin frame, but make no mistake, he is physical and he relishes contact. Paul passes to Adams. Bonari with it. Now, here's Robertson. Inside, five to shoot. Here's Molinari. That one's not going to go. So Utah will take it the other way. To the paint, here's Bogdanovich. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. I'm telling you this, if you leave one of Ingle's teammates open, Joe is going to find him. Paul is doubled. Pass to Noel. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. good from Noel and you know guys listen Noel brings value the reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass and good on the second so he makes them both Jazz have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50% Paul against Conley. Thunder with the rebound. Adams has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. And that'll be his third foul so far. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for the Thunder. for three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Bogdanovich has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Wow, Kev. Love the power and the strength of Bogdanovich on that strong finish. Malinari outside. Schroeder against Mitchell. From 12 feet out. And it's Schroeder missing. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Utah. Has to go bare. Conley against Paul. Mitchell is double. Conley, the pass to Ingles. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Thunder have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Now, here's Robertson. He's covered closely. Schroeder with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. Molinari wide open. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got six assists in the game. Jazz trail by three. Mitchell outside. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Chris Paul picks up that. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And that one misses. 
Oklahoma City has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Good on the bucket. Paul's got 22 points. You can see it. He's taking better shots, and the results are coming because of it. Conley with it. And Adams sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. Down low, Aganovich. Boom, he jams it straight down. Now here's Paul. From 13 feet, it goes down. He's got 24. Beautiful stuff from CP3, figuring out every single way to exploit the weakness of the defense. And the Jazz call time here. And a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Chris Paul. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Ingles in the corner. Unloads. Gallinari with the rebound. Gallinari's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. On the wing, Robertson. on the shot clock. Pass to Schroeder. A three. Oh, good on that one. Good work defensively by Conley. Call against Mitchell. To the middle. Here's Gobert. And Adams sends it back. They get it back. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Bogdanovich. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Oklahoma City. One nineteen left in the fourth. Basket counts. Paul's got nine points now in the quarter. Just love the focus when he gets around the rim. How huge could those two points be? Mitchell against Paul. Mitchell is double. Right side, Conley to tie it up. The rebound by Stephen Adams. Oklahoma City has gone a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And it's Gallinari missing. Utah's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5-12. The pass to Mitchell. Count! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. 
And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Ball is doubled. Kicks it to Gallinari. He's looking for Robertson and finds him. In front. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Utah calls timeout. They're down by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Diallo, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. And so it's Utah here with the ball. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Ingles outside. It falls! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. How about Joe Ingles stepping up in the clutch to deliver a big-time bucket? How a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Here's Paul. Out to the wing. To win it. Oh, couldn't sink the shot. And we're going to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Here we go. And the Jazz start out with the ball. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. 
also on the floor for Utah. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Joe Ingles is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the center position. Robertson dishes to Paul. Paul is doubled. And here's Robertson. Inside, like at six. Adams shot is off. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Now, Robertson. A minute into overtime, and what has been a great game so far. On deep. The rebound by the Jams. And now running up the court, Ingles pushing it up. And Utah again with the bucket. Don't let Joe Ingles get comfortable in the mid-range now. It's going to be a long night. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a buck. To the inside. Stolen by Mitchell. Just over a minute and a half played here in overtime. Ingles finds Gobert. Mitchell outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, Donovan Mitchell welcomes the opportunity to draw contact and either get to the free throw line or make the shot. First free throw is good. And the Thunder making a switch here. Schroeder's checked in. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And really, they've rebounded well all game long. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Uh, Dennis Schroeder has proven historically he is unafraid in big moments, and he delivers big time. Kindly, the pass to go there. Jazz passing it around. Mitchell's shot is good. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Paul with the ball. Finally picks him up. Paul dishes to Adams. To Paul. Gobert with the block. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Yep, it counts. And now it's an eight-point Utah lead. Bogdanovich feeling it right now, Kevin. And when he's in that zone, you just keep getting him the rock. The Thunder have gone one of four from the field in the overtime period so far. Stolen by Mitchell. Here's the break. A finish. And then Mitchell with the dunk. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, Greg, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Stolen by Mitchell. And now running up the court. Ingles pushing it up. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Dennis Schroeder. Uh, Bogdanovich staying confident down low, being physical with the defense, and gets rewarded with a trip to the foul line. Two shots. First one falls for him. There's a lot to like about Bogdanovich's game. He's a skilled scorer. He's a capable defender. And I think there's some leadership qualities there. Terrence Ferguson's checked in for the Thunder. And so Bogdanovich 
Nails both of them. Thunder trailing by 12. Just under three and a half minutes played in the extra period here. Here's Ferguson, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. good on the free throw. No luck that time either. And here's Utah. They're on a 14-2 run here. Here's Conley. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Paul. Feeds it to Robertson. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, an elite perimeter defender, Andre Robertson uses that impressive length to bother players. What a solid role player this guy has become. Free throw drops for Robertson. Second free throw, no good. Yeah, he cuts the deficit a little bit, but not as much as he could have. One miss can make a big difference. Here's Gobert, and that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. Well, Gobert has settled in in his ability to get to the free throw line. I'll tell you, he is excellent at getting physical with the defense and drawing contact. He misses the free throw. See, I have so much appreciation for the way Rudy Gobert plays the game. This guy takes smart shots on the offensive end. He uses that reach to perfection on the defensive end. He is a defense unto himself. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Thunder. Down by 12. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for Utah. You're right, not much time left. You know they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after what we've seen here, a superb performance in overtime, they're managing to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, and ultimately they were able to just pull away there at the end. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out, and doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Donovan Mitchell. Well, I think his contribution clearly came at the defensive end, right? He came up with a bunch of huge steals. He was a menace all night long.
Here's Williams Goss. That's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Oni, he's guarded by Diallo. Clock at four. And stolen by Diallo. Disappointing day for him. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And so it's Utah with the win. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Mike. Congrats on the win. It looked like you guys stayed with your identity tonight. You think so? Yeah, we wanted to just play our game. You know, stick to what we do best. Get the ball inside, score in the paint. Uh, just try to make easy plays. And I think that's what we did, and I were able to just build off of that. You guys are one of the best teams at staying to what you do. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference Playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.